All right, hey guys, I am going to be going over loop demoing and uh, reviewing the U Loop Tree app. It is being produced by Edward Sharp and Harry Sharp. Um, really, really cool app so far that I've uh, played with it. Um, I'm glad that they fixed the audio paste bug um, and their most recent update. So here is the basic user interface you got transport controls on top you got the menu you can start a new session you can load a previous session um, you can record it you can export the recording you got a few settings here um, you can do tracks per page you can have 5 7 or 11 let's go and bump it up to 11 perform action on touch up I think he, he goes over a lot of these stuff so I'm just kind of hitting the high point because he's got really good videos um, but that's where if you hold I think you actually have to have something playing but you hold the record or hold it'll show you the action and then you slide up and it will um, do the action that you're uh, um, wanting and you can just lift up and it will won't do the action. Um, enable media control. Now this is something that I've fought with and fought with but apparently right now you have to have some sort of mediary app that will work um, for a hardware to talk to uh, oops uh, loop tree. So they recommend MIDI Bridge, which I never used MIDI Bridge, so I had to buy it. Um, really, really cool. I like it. Um, it's kind of hit or miss whether I could get it to actually work with Loop Tree, but I did. I have a FCB 1010 plugged into my Axiom 49 keyboard, and I didn't do anything crazy. I just simply selected and selected. And it drew the line, and I don't have any any settings done. And all I have my FCB 1010 mapped uh, pedals one, two, and three mapped to note 36, 37, and 38. And that corresponds with the rec, the play, toggle, and the delete. Um, So we've got 11 loops. We've got a monitor on or off if we want to listen. Uh, we've got a master volume and pan. Filter section. This is the um, really cool uh, kind of beat repeat thing. And what it does, if you just tap one time, it'll play from the point that you tap through, through the loop. And if you're above the horizon line, it'll play it forward. If you're below, it'll play it in reverse. And then if you move your finger left or right, it will half the time each time. Um, and it's kind of it's, sometimes it can be tedious if you're trying to get to the exact spot. So it's not it's not always accurate um, I'm sure just with time this is version 1.0 or I don't know exactly what the version it is uh, now that they've had the uh, um, the small update um, but this is version 1 the developers are really active uh, I've engaged with them in some emails and uh, really like the developers um, and they're really open to the uh, suggestions especially over on the audio bus forum they do have their own forum that um, if you go to uh, looptreeapp.com yeah looptreeapp.com go down to their support um, you can leave them feedback or you can browse their help articles and go over to the forum and they have a whole list of topics um, that they're requesting and they and they do are 
seem to be pretty active on the audio bus forum as well so but let's see we got all right so we got the beat repeat you can slide your fingers back left to right and you can do multiple <laughs> craziness um well it'd be really awesome if we if sampler and this is like if sampler and loopy had a baby um if they could somehow put all the sampler controls on one side and you had all just loops on the other and you could just go crazy but this is a really good start to um live loop remixing um and it has a the filter has a low pass, a band pass, and a high pass. And you can set it to not work. You can uh, mute it on uh, incoming, uh, the loops, and the beat repeat. And you you can record into individual uh, loops. From this, we can play this. The one thing that I think they need to look at, um, and I know he's, um, I've mentioned it to him, um, and to being able to use interapp filters and on effects uh, inside the app, but um, if you could record the filter so you can hold the filter. And be able to record well, it might actually work yeah it don't work it only records the straight um, the filter is after the the wreck the recording so in the chain so there's no filter before the recording so that you can record the the filtered sound into the loop so that's kind of a negative um, and then you can mute record source if you don't want to record if you want to play the beat repeat and record um, I have it plugged into my uh, Akai EIE the red one um, and I just got a microphone turn it up a little bit so we can just set the loop right or set my FCB 1010 on the correct channel and see I overdubbed which is really cool because it works in layers and so I overdubbed the little b the bass with the little uh, shaker and see now I have I can double double tap into that and you can pan them and individual volume can all right I'm back uh, sorry about that let's see if I focused uh, I think so all right I think uh, I had just so I overdubbed, let's see, yep, overdubbed and panned. Um, and say you wanted to, um, layer that again. Uh, and you could, So now I have three loops inside of that one loop, and then which in turn has two loops inside the main loop screen. And so, um, what was that movie? 
Inception. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Inception, how they're going layers and layers into the dreams. Um, and so we got the one loop, expands into two, and then I recorded two more inside of that one. So I have three loops in that one. And if I wanted to do more, I could just go loop and loop and loop and loop and loop and loop and layers and just get so crazy that um, I don't even know how you keep track of it. But possibilities are there. Um, I do have sector running and I have sector hooked up to my... Axiom keyboard. So let me just load a project up. Yes. Go back to loop tree. you want to run into it um, let's get rid of that um, and so if you want to chain you can just select whatever and then let's see let's try this record let's hit record have selected if you hit the button down here you see my finger yep um, and that will put the two over here into the and then if we wanted to record that and we could toggle pause Toggle play, toggle pause. Oh, I had the record source muted. And so one thing I think of I think I figured out how the app works. And so if you're at this top most layer and you select and you record you start and stop um, and it will quantize once you have one layer set um, and um, and then each time you just hit record it will record that quantized if you're in that layer and you're overdubbing but once you get inside the overdub layer you can hit record and you can just talk and it won't start over until you actually hit the record again and then it'll quantize it to the nearest beat and then it will stop recording and it'll start looping um, which we'll see record here record and you can just talk and it won't start over until you actually hit the record again and so and inside this one beat, loop here and then 
we have three loops that are quantized to the same uh, beat and then we have one more that is probably four times as long which that opens up crazy possibilities um, the biggest feature I think that this app needs is being able to audio paste into each one of these loops if we wanted to so let's get rid of that if we could quant if we could uh, audio paste into all the loops then I don't think there would really be a need for the launchpad app because you could essentially take one layer two layer three four five and have all of them and load samples inside of it and then you could control individually how you wanted to play them I think it would be really awesome but right now the only way to get audio paste is to do new audio paste and it brings up audio copy maybe yep eventually it'll bring up audio copy and then we can figure out which way we want I think that was kind of cool and so and it used the new loop as the first track and set all the quantization and timing and everything I guess one thing I got used to in loopy is being able to see the um, tempo here you really can't see the tempo you don't know what the tempo is which is kind of good and bad um, you're not necessarily trying to play to the tempo um, I don't think it really has any tempo sync so it really wouldn't sync that whatever the internal tempo is to another app um, you just have to play everything by ear um, which is a completely different experience than it is when you're playing loopy um, but and then if you want to go new metronome I think he went he went over that a lot better than I can figure this metronome out but time because my phone ran out of storage I really need to get a better way of recording these videos um, but I think I left off I was going over the um, metronome you can just use it as a base I don't think I would use it as a uh, main um, I don't think I would use it live because just it's not musical and you don't really want to start out with a metronome musically like that um, but it's really good uh, I guess it where loopy is you can set a tempo and set a time signature and you can visually see the loops going around in circles this is um, more hands-on like an actual um, loop pedal um, it's just kind of a more visual loop pedal to where you don't necessarily set the tempo on a loop pedal I guess you can I've never really played with a loop pedal the only loop pedal I've ever played with was loopy my FCB 1010 and to loopy um, so I have no experience with a um, one of the RC 300s or RC uh, um, or any of the uh, the boss loops or the any other loop actual hardware loop pedals out there um, I know you can set tempos on some of them um, 
So it was just, I guess just seeing videos, this app reminds me of that more so than Loopy, to where you have complete control over loops and bar lengths and stuff like that. So um, I'm pretty sure I went over, yeah, um, different loop lengths inside the layered loops. Um, I don't think there's anything that just pops out at you at the uh, in the settings. Uh, quantize to toggle, record quantize in, uh, record the quantize the length and record out. Um, I guess it's just your preference um, and how you use it. Um, you have to have a. You have to have one selected in order to record and then you can record in series I think I got that on the video but I will do another one just in case so I have those four loops uh, selected so I can go four loops back to back to back and you can take two fingers and drag up you should be able to drag into the loop and see now those four are now all quantized in here and I have you can control them inside the layer and you can actually mute some and you can see I think you can see um, four little dashes at the bottom of this loop the first two are active the second two are darker and that's just indicating they got the first two out first two active and the second two are uh, muted at the current point um, if you go back and you mute it'll mute everything and then it'll only play what was muted so you have to go inside the loop itself to enable everything and if whenever you select over here you can just press This, I mean, it's just a really, it's a really cool app. Really cool. It's a different take on uh, a looper. I would recommend it. Um, I mean, there's 15 drum machines and 47,000 synths and uh, 10 other music apps that really don't have a genre like Sector um, or any of the other weird music apps out there. And there's not that really. There's not that many live looping apps, so uh, I mean, I well, I definitely welcome Loop Tree to the uh, to the game. Um, version 1.0 definitely uh, came out strong. There's not wasn't really many bugs. There was just that one little audio paste bug that they fixed pretty rapidly. Um, I have definitely requested to be able to audio paste in loops into any place I want to um, so you could place you could loop a whole uh, launch pad uh, app session type thing which uh, is what loopy was so close to is being a live launch pad um, so I think if they did it right and did it um, and they kept the user interface the way it is and just tweaked it just a little bit it could definitely be a contender with the uh, holy grail of iPad apps which would be an Ableton live type launch clip looper kind of thing well it, in my opinion that would be awesome um, so I guess that's think that's it 
I um, feel like this video is kind of scatterbrained because my phone kept messing up and I got a phone call and I'm still new to this and still getting used to doing videos um, but comment like subscribe uh, make sure you visit, visit the audio uh, let me know you know give me some uh, feedback crit uh, criticism likes dislikes on the video and uh, just if there's anything you want me to go over uh, I think I have a pretty good handle on the FCB 1010 on how to program it manually so I can I know there's really not that many videos out there so if that is something that people need um, let me know and I will uh, try my best to explain how I kind of program the FCB 1010 foot pedal to work and I will talk to you guys later.